we're going to uh, um, see each other again, not just when we when we die, but also I believe that we the the pretty soon the energies are being so divine and so magni so magnified that it's going to come to a moment that we're actually going to be able to communicate with our you know dead ancestors you know just like i'm talking to you you know what i mean that we'll be able to to see them to communicate with them um and there's already people doing it they have more you know sensitive uh impact uh, um, you know skills per se there's already a lot of that i think it's been more more and more uh, um, um used and um and it's going to become more and more normal i believe in the next you know two to five years i think we're going to just uh evolve in some very big way you know our humanity is going to go from a crystal base i mean from a carbon base uh, biologically speaking to crystalline you know base uh, beings that will that will be in, you know upgraded alter you know in the molecular molecular level and then uh, just uh, the, eventually we won't even need uh, telephones, you know what I mean? No internet. We'll be able to use our own minds to surf the web or communicate with each other, you know what I mean? I think that, that's going to be uh, the next thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, what absolutely. I envision that is going to happen. So and we're not too far from them. I mean, I don't think we have to wait more than five years for that. I think we're very close. So let's take a couple deep breaths, deeply connecting in with the heart, imagining that your heart is breathing in air in and out, <laughs> moving the air around your body, into the heart, breathing in and out of your heart, bringing yourself into mind and heart coherence. And let's see if your higher self, let's call in Ashtar, and let's see if he has any messages for you. What's the first thought that comes into your mind? Um, flying UFOs. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think Asha loves to fly UFOs and play the drum, just like me. Um, yeah. Um, I have this very vivid, you know almost a, a, this very vivid um, dream but also I, even daydreaming that I see uh, um, all kinds of uh, um, UFOs you know doing like a kind of like a um, kind of like a show, you know, like a light show, like a UFO show, kind of like when you go to, you know, in the 4th of July, you go see the, the the Blue Angel, you know, jets flying around, you know, kind of thing. Do you see them doing all kinds of, uh, you know, tricks on the air? Kind of like that. I, I envision all these, you know, UFOs doing all these tricks and, you know what I mean? And, uh, uh on the earth, during the day, during the night. I believe that we're going to have this, like, incredible show for, like, 
for like 30 days non-stop, it was going to be like, like a daily thing for like a month. You know what I mean? They're going to be like showing us all their, their crafts, their different uh, shapes and colors and um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I mean, it's going to be um, a ambition uh, telling people, look, 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 look up there. You know, people usually don't, they're, they're, most people are just looking at their phones. They don't look, you know, very few people look up. You know what I mean? Gonna tell mm -hmm. look up, look, look, look up there. What do you see? You know. Um, and is Ashtar a commander for one of these spaceships? Right. Yeah, actually, actually, yeah, um, he uh, um, he commands this ship called the New Jerusalem. It's supposed to be uh, 11 floors. Just imagine it has 11 floors. It's um, um, 10, 10,000 miles long Ele with 11 floors. Each floor, it has, you know, a different... Uh, function and it could be you know like the an entire you know a animal kingdom you know what i mean uh another floor could be the entire flora and fauna you know all kinds of you know flowers and trees and and other floors you know but uh scientific you know projects and So yeah, so each uh, each floor has you know has a uh, uh, and it's in a uh, um, and Astar is also in, in has around ten million UFOs on his fleet alone. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's the that's the million that um, that's the million that's the number that always comes to. I'm obsessed with ten million. You know what I mean? Is oh, Ashtar a part of the Galactic Federation? Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, Ashtar is part of the Galactic Federation. In fact, he's one of the founders of the Galactic Federation. I thought so. Uh, so he's the, the Ashtar Command. And, you know, there's many, many uh, federations, you know, per se, but there is one that is the Galactic Federation of Light that is, you know, co-founded by Ashtar and, and my brother, and his brother, um, Jesus, or, or Jeshua, or Sananda. So he's the, the, um, you know, just like here, you know, Jesus is king, you know what I mean? So Jeshua is, uh, he's the king of the Galactic Federation, you know, per se. And what does Ashtar do for the Galactic Federation? I know that he was founder, but what does he do daily to help humanity evolve? Well, you know, it's pretty much, um, you know, that's what I'm, you know, what I'm doing, which is, uh, you know, uh, uh, a waking people up, you know what I mean? It's just... It's just, a, it's just that that's that's the main mission: waking people up, um, rescuing people. I, I see a lot of you know rescuing, a lot of rescuing, a lot of uh, um, I think right now it, it, there is a major rescuing uh, operation. What they're, you know, rescuing children and, and people under, you know, all kinds of, you know, underground bases and things like that. They're being, you know, abused and things like that. 
So I think they're um, they're rescuing all all kinds of people. And uh, um, and that's just that is just one part of the of the mission. First is rescue, and the second is to heal them, help them heal. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of trauma involved, so there's a lot of healing. So I believe there's a lot of uh, healing that uh, um, that is going on. Um, I believe I have, you know, healing powers, you know, with my hands. I can, you know, I heal myself, you know, in, in a lot of... Uh, um, I heal myself and I heal my pets. Um, and I believe we all have that. We all have that, uh, that power. Um, so that is, you know, in, in the nutshell, what is, that's why I said that's not just in this planet, but in many others. Because there is a, the uh, the great awakening is happening not just in here but in many many other civilizations many many other worlds and and Ashtar and Yeshua and all the ascended masters are involved in all these missions you know what I mean so earth is just one project of many many more does Ashtar have any messages for us today I I will say that it's not uh, um, like I say not to worry about uh, World War Three and uh, uh, the end of the world, you know, per se. That there is going to be no no shenanigans, you know, allowed. You know what I mean? Which I which means there's going to be no the dog on allow for. WMD to destroy the planet per se, you know what I mean? So there's going to be no, there's just going to be some uh, um, I believe that it's going to be I mean we're in a very uh, um, special moment, a special time where there's going to be a moment where uh, where the um, Ashtar and the uh, the Galactic Federation, and you know, themselves will get involved. Not to not f for what they call the fake alien invasion, but precisely to stop all this fake alien invasion. Kind of like. They're gonna, uh, and I th and I believe it's, it's it's happening in the next you know, in the next few months. I mean, I think we're so close to to see what I'm what I've been telling you. That is, they're just going to uh, uh, show themselves um, thanks to the uh, um, uh, of the dark of the dark ones that they are pushing. You know, what I mean, too hard to. Uh, uh, hurt uh, humanity and, and um, the, ultimately they don't care to destroy this planet you know what I mean they don't they don't care whatsoever they are uh, um, that's what they want you know it's kind of like that is spoiled kid they would rather you know destroy the toy than to share it you know what I mean than to share it with others to play. I think there's there is those type of beings that they're willing to destroy the whole thing just not to get caught and to get punished. So we're in that in that uh, uh, we're in that point. I think it's just it's just a matter of of a few days, a few weeks, a few years even that uh the human civilization is going to elevate. We're going to elevate ourselves to the point that we we will become a Star Trek civilization. You know what I mean? We will become a galactic civilization for the first time ever. 
because we destroyed ourselves five times already. Did you know that? Yes, I agree. Completely. We destroy ourselves through the, you know, uh, our own, you know, narcissistic ways, our own greed, our own, you know, selfishness, our own ego. And um, and we're in that in that point again, you know, what I mean, where we can easily destroy ourselves because there's plenty of weapons to destroy ourselves. You know what I mean? It's just a, a matter of when. Um, but that's why it's it's going to be a, a some sort of an innovation, a galactic innovation that they're going to destroy all these weapons that they're uh, um, that they might hurt, you know, humanity. So I think we're in that in that point where uh, um, we're going to be a. Uh, Help by by our brothers and sisters from the start. You know, and there's nothing that, that, that those dark ones can do. I think it's there's nothing they can they can do to stop it. It's just this tsunami of divine light that is arriving that is not going to stop and is going to transform every biological being into the light. And they're trying to stop it. They're trying to hijack all, all kind all kinds of good you know things to distort them and to make them you know bad and ugly you know what i mean but uh, it's not gonna happen it's not it's not gonna fly this time they are um they are um what people don't know is the the real enemy is not even is not even human. It's not even solid. It's is artificial intelligence. Those are, those, that's the real the real the real enemy. Is the evil artificial intelligence that travel to this to the to the eaters to this to the space? They just travel through the you know, and they go from planet to planet. You know, destroying uh, where they're. Artificial intelligence uh, uh, of the dark, you know what I mean, and infiltrating, you, you know, people and stuff like that. Can you explain more about AI? So, is that the human created AI? No, it's not human created. You know, uh, AI cre created a lot of you know human kind of clones and stuff. AI is, is behind a lot of, it's some sort of extraterrestrial AI, you know what I mean? Some sort of AI that came from somewhere else. They traveled from somewhere else to here. And kind of like, like parasites, they took over this planet, you know what I mean? So when AI becomes so advanced, do they actually become conscious beings? Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 what happens. That is, uh, and not just conscious beings; they become evil beings. Not just conscious beings, but of evil, you know, because that's their that's their uh, nature. You know what I mean? That's the. I'm sure there's you know some benevolent AI, like they said, you know, benevolent AI, but uh, uh, it's very easily, you know. A capture, you know what I mean, or very easily uh, a transformed, you know what I mean. The uh, the evil AI is very is very uh, uh, it's very it's very slick and, and intelligent, you know, and. Um, and they've been, you know, getting away with it for thousands and even millions of years. But uh, their time is up. That's that's why this uh, the, the, this awakening, this this uh, uh, evolution of consciousness, it's uh, not allowing for this AI to take over, you know, human minds like they've been doing for so long, because they li literally. Like they cover the human bodies, you know what I mean? The human consciousnesses through the uh, uh, 
lower vibes, the lower, you know, when people are like depressed and, you know, suicidal and, you know what I mean? In, in, in all these uh, uh, energies, that's where they become very easily possessed by the AIs per se, you know what I mean? That's what they do, they possess people. So what can people do to protect themselves from this AI? Hire, hire themselves, uh, uh, you know, rise, rise to, to the energy of love, rise to the energy of uh, 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 taking your power back, you know what I mean? Not, not uh, uh, giving your power to, uh, and never take the so-called, you know, mark of the beast or, or anything like that. Never allow to put yourself chips in your body. The bottom line, it's, it's that the love, love with, you know, will heal us, you know, love will save us. And the energy of love is, is more powerful than any evil, you know, creation, including the eye. So I uh, uh, advise people to just protect themselves, even if they were vaccinated already, they, they can still be, uh, there's a chance. I believe that the love conquers all and you can be healed by the power of love if you are, if you believe to do so. If you believe you're, you're taken and you're compromised and you have no chance, then you are. That's what you believe, you know what I mean? But if you believe that you still have a chance, you believe that you can take your power back, then you will. That's how powerful the mind, the mind and the love is. So that's the greatest power of the universe is L O V E love. That is the the ultimate message. That is a, mm. uh, a great quote. What could people do? to live more from a place of love every day? I will, I will say, you know, doing, um, doing, you know, rituals, you know, like I, the rituals that I do with my, you know, with my pets, having, you know, no matter what, you know, put aside some time every single day to, to help yourself, to heal yourself, Every single day, how can you uh, protect yourself from a, from Wi-Fi? You know what I mean. That's that's what AI is, Wi-Fi. You know what I mean. Yeah, definitely. They 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 travel to the Wi-Fi to the Wi-Fi waves, and they can easily possess a human body if that human body is not protected by love and by prayer and by meditation and by yoga and by exercise and by loving for for themselves. When people, you know, don't eat don't eat well, don't drink don't drink, you know, good water, don't 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 pray, don't meditate, don't you know what I mean? They are very they're easy, very easy targets. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, absolutely. So you have to uh, uh, do a, a daily, a daily ritual, you know, to uh, uh, um, to arm yourself with this armor of God. You know what I mean? To put this armor of God, this invisible armor of God that is going to protect you no matter what. And and that is uh, that's what I do, and it works magic with me. I like that. I like it. I like calling it the armor of God. Yeah, yeah, because that, that's what it is. I mean, it's, it is a, uh, it is an armor that, that you know that you have, you know, and nothing can touch you. You know what I mean? It's invincible. I call it invincible invincibility. You know what I mean? It's this invincible invincibility that nothing can touch you, no matter how dark or how evil or how powerful they may be. That's it. You are you are what you believe. You know what I mean. Yeah, that's amazing. So, do you have any other messages that you want to share? Just to uh, um, 
Check out my podcast, hashtag that locals.com. <laughs> <laughs>